So did we spill the beans today? About how this whole right thing has just been totally orchestrated and... We're getting paid to be together. It's all fake. This whole thing, did we tell him today? Guys, um, so today's the day we're gonna answer all your questions about The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, how to get on, uh, the behind the scenes, whatever you really wanna know, we're gonna answer it. You're gonna learn today. Today. You might not be ready for it, but you're gonna learn. The new season of The Bachelor is it's on. on, it's back. America's Bachelor is Colton Underwood. I feel like he's kissed a lot of girls. Well, I've been that's him the here. only thing he's done. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Boom. Um, do we think Colton's a virgin? I mean, here's my thought. You would like to, like, you would believe no way that's possible. But my theory is, if he wasn't, that had to have come out by now. Yeah, but like, like, I feel like virgin is on such like a gray scale. Like, what? you know what I mean? Like, what are we calling a virgin? I don't know. Oh my gosh. So you don't First place, so you don't like no is. second base, or maybe you like stole second base and you were just hanging out there no, for a little while, but you did definitely didn't go to third. I don't know. Well, no, first, second, and third base is not having what's, sex. What's second base? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's third base? I don't know. Anyways, I guess he's okay. a virgin, I guess. I have, I have, I got my I've heard some rumors, but. Oh, bombshell. But like I said, if it was true, I feel like people would know about it by but now. But there's always so, rumors out there. We know that. So that is true. So I'm not going to believe the rumors and I'm going to trust Colton. Mm. Yep. How noble of you. How noble. It's the right thing to do. Is it like for the right reasons? <laughs> no, for the right reasons. <laughs> see what you did there. <laughs> You, you all probably did see me, I hope you saw me, on the first episode. I did. We did That's a live sort of bachelor viewing party and I hosted Crushed that with Caitlin. It. We kind of took a step back from The Bachelor and the whole franchise since our season, mm -hmm. but like being back there and being around it's all exciting, like huh? the fans. You guys have a lot of questions about the show and we have a little bit of experience. We got a lot of experience. So we're gonna go through the questions and- um, See if we can just, help you out. Yeah, and to be See honest- See if you can fall in love. Yes, because it's so possible. I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Slub when you know your passcode. All right, go questions. Back. Here got, we go. We got the this questions. was fun last time we did this. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go through these kind of quick, straight to point, um, so you guys can get what you're asking for. Melissa. Melissa XO. What were your lives like before the show? How did you apply? What was the application process like? And why did you choose to go on? I think we have very different stories. For me, I had, was recently just gotten out of a relationship. So I was like, I think two months single. It was actually super fresh. We have a friend of the family who's actually a producer for the show. Mm. And he had reached out and just said, hey, we're coming to Dallas for a casting. Are you single? Do you want to do it? My family members and my girlfriends, they're all like, you got to do it. You got You just got to do it. Because I think they wanted me to kind of totally move on from that last relationship. Leave that dude in the dust. And so they thought, go, right? So I went. I went to the casting call. You sit in this room full of hundreds of girls. I mean, my gosh. I almost walked out and left, um, but I sat. Good thing you didn't. Yeah, I know, isn't that we crazy? Wouldn't, we wouldn't be sitting here. Um, so I sat in line and I went to the first girl, they interview you, and if you get a packet after that first initial interview, that's a good sign. So then you go through a couple of rounds and, um, and then I ended up on the show. And why did you choose to go on? I used to say, Oh my gosh, look how in love they look. I want something like that. It's a fairy Aww. tale. And it's so crazy how life just is full circle and then I did it. It's crazy. I was a part of none of that. Did none of that. Didn't apply for the show. I was in sports broadcasting and training quarterback. Someone knew somebody and I got a call like a week before we started filming by a producer. Sure, why not? And I packed a bag and was there a couple days later. So That was kind of long. But... Yeah, we'll speed these up. Um, Clueless2424. What did your applications look like? Tips and tricks on how to get on the show. Be yourself. Totally be yourself. And to be honest, uh, Jackson was in a lot of my photos that I sent in, so that probably helped. When I did the <laughs> when I did the questionnaire, one of the questions is literally, what's the craziest thing you've done in the bedroom? Yeah, this was like such a good answer. And I said, try to mount a TV on the wall without a stud finder. I Nightmare! Have any of you ever done that? But that's such a good answer. You know, they're trying to bait you into like the whole sex thing. I'm like, no, I like literally that was the craziest thing I've ever done because there was holes all over the wall. Yeah, and you're not good at it, huh? <laughs> yeah. I would just say totally be yourself. Answer the questions honestly because I think that they're very good They've at- They've heard it all. They're very good at picking out what seems a little kind of like rehearsed or forced. So just be yourself and if it's meant to be, it'll, it'll happen. 
Okay, Tate McCraw? McCaw. McCraw. You were right. Do you go through any media training before going on the show? Wow, no you don't. That's a good question. Great question, but no. No, you just get thrown in. Um, and and I think that's, the answer's no. No, you don't. That's the hardest part though, because you, night one, you're sitting on like a couch like this, trying to have a normal conversation, trying to date somebody. Cameras and there everywhere. there are a million cameras. So unless you've been on camera before, and even if you have, it's super hard to like yeah. shut that out and act normal. There's a definitely an adjustment process, but I will say that if you ever do go on the show, the quicker you're able to kind of block out the cameras, the better off your time there will be, um, and, and just more authentic and organic. And weirdly enough, the people on the show, at some point, you finish a date and you're like, oh my God, I totally forgot the yeah. cameras were on. It's the weirdest thing ever. I actually remember from my season on The Bachelor with Ben, um, I remember actually telling Ben, and I think it aired, like I was sitting with him, and I was like, this is just so weird to me. Like, I feel so weird. And and I think a, the role of the bachelor, bachelor, if they're able to sort of like comfort you and make you feel more comfortable, mm -hmm. it's so helpful. But yeah, I, I think I was a little slower and, and getting comfortable, but. You did that for me. Tiffany Horn. Yes. I'm gonna read it like as Tiffany would be asking. Okay, good. Jojo, oh my God. How do you remember names on night one? Oh. Because hello, no way you can remember 30 guys night names night one. Hello, Tiffany, you're so right. I did not remember I really wondered that too, standing up there. I'm like, I don't even know name. these guys names standing next to me. Inside scoop. Um, so on the first night when we're doing the rose ceremony, I go out and I have three names in my head. I go out there, I say the three names and then we break. And then I go back into a different room with producers who have a photo of the lineup, so I know where to look. Like if like I like he's standing on the left. I'm like, who, who's Jeremy and where is he sta standing? Jeremy, you're amazing. <laughs> so yes, it's definitely broken up, uh, but you don't see it because it's all edited. But every and it's terrible for us because we're standing there literally for three hours. And I know it's California, it's LA, but that first night was cold. Okay, so I'm gonna let you complain and have your moment, and then I'm gonna tell you, being a girl on the other side of that in five inch heels, standing there and nearly naked in a dress. Did like, they have a place for you to sit down in the production room? I'm talking about when I'm I was on the other side. Oh, oh, well we're not talking about I'm talking about, about for me, talking I'm talking about, about when I was We're not talking about Oh gosh. All right, let's move on. This is a good one. Beach please, underscore KF. <laughs> Love the handle, by the way. Uh, how many times do they spray the Bachelor Mansion Drive with water for the arrival scenes? That's one shiny AF driveway. A lot, guys. Night one, uh, every like three people that got out, spray they would down. spray it with water. I'm pretty sure someone just gets paid to spray that down. It's a great job. Yeah. I wonder if there's an application for that. Ellie.Condry, what's it like living with all the girls? A huge slumber party or a huge mess? <gasps> um, I'm gonna take a guess. What'd you say? Uh, a huge mess? No, I think I had more fun in the house with the girls. Um, yeah, it was more of a slumber party than a mess for Finish me. what you were about to say. What? You had more fun in the house with the girls. I'll be honest, I had more fun being one of the contestants on The Bachelor than I think I did as The Bachelorette. We kind of get a little stir crazy, so we would play this game with like Oreos or something where we would try to get it from our forehead into our mouth without using our hands. And I just remember, that was the greatest game ever. And we just spent hours doing that. <laughs> I gotta see you do that. <laughs> it's hard. I gotta see this. I never said. All right, oh, oh, this is, how do I flip this thing? First of all, I never said I was an expert, but it's all about your stance, guys. Oh, got the power stance going, okay. Oh, the slow shake. Oh, now she's got one eye. Wow, this is actually really impressive. What are you doing? Oh, I lost it. Wow, I thought you had it. That was so close. Too much pressure. Here, wait, let me reenact you. <laughs> I never said it was pretty. Being a contestant, it's like. So fun. It's so fun. So and it's much so fun. like, there's not as much pressure and stress and like being the bachelor was awesome, but it's just so fun as a contestant. I had a great experience too. There was one funny time that Chad, the dude that worked out all the time, that was a. Ate a lot of protein. Uh, one of the cleaners moved his protein powder, which he put in like a specific like cabinet in the kitchen, and he flipped out and was trying to fight people because we thought he thought we pranked him and moved his protein. It's so a, that was to soft that, that man. Oh <laughs> Ari and Lauren need sleep. I, I've seen this account on Instagram actually. On a scale of one to ten, how comfortable are the beds at the Ooh, Bachelor Mansion? Good question. I don't think that they're bad. 
It's not great. Though. I don't remember it one way or the other. Being Different for girls and guys. Guys, like I was on a tiny like. They're bunk beds. Yeah. So not bad, not great. I'd probably say a five. Yeah. Just like average. Whatever. Like, yeah. yeah. Blanky. These handles are tough, guys. <laughs> Blanky. XOXO. Who does the grocery shopping at the mansion? How do they know what you guys like to eat? Who does the cooking at home? If you have recipes, please share. Just a quick answer. The production team just stocks up the mansion. We make a, a long of, list like yeah. every day of what we want. and ton of food and cook. they just get it for you. Nothing fancy, a lot of eggs, a lot of sandwiches. Pretty much always get what you put on the list. Yeah, they're really good at taking yeah. care of you in the house. Um, I like never cooked in the house. The only thing that Becca and I made was bean and cheese tacos. Weird. <laughs> Still do. <laughs> In Pierre, in Prier 11. These are tough. Do you slash all the contestants have to provide all their own clothing or is there a dress code? The answer- Everyone asks this. You bring all your own stuff. Yep, and I don't think there's a dress code. You just no. kinda- And you literally have no idea. Like you gotta pack, not knowing if you're gonna be there for two nights, or you're gonna be there for two months. And so you have to bring everything. They, they send you a list and it's literally, you gotta prepare for snow and freezing yes. and beach and 100 degrees. And they tell and you everything to pack it all in only like two, two suitcases. suitcases. I had like four and got away with it, it was awesome. Me and my mom went on like a huge shopping spree like when I found out I was gonna go and I, I just remember thinking, gosh, I hope that I don't get sent home night one. I hope they just have good return policies. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on clothes. Like, just you're like, a little fashionista. But it was just like t-shirts and stuff. You don't know what you're gonna need. So I just like. Yeah, and like. Bought a bunch of random stuff. All right, Courtney Hirschberg. Is it weird being friends with the girls or guys that were technically dating the same person as you? Such a common question. Um, I'll be honest, it's, it's weird when you get down to the end and like mm -hmm. you don't wanna talk about your relationship with the guy, but it, or, it almost sort of just becomes like, like known that this is a circumstance yeah. and these are cool people. So yeah, it's weird, but it almost just becomes normal in that environment, which is even weirder. I think it's only really weird and if you're not confident in the relationship you have with the person. That's tough though. Beck and I were obviously best friends on the show and we still are now, but I remember as we went on, she would come home or I would come home from a date and it's like, you want to talk to your girlfriend about it. And I remember we would start to talk about it and then we both would be like, that's just not yeah. like it's it's weird and I love you but it's like we you know so it's it's just a weird dynamic. That's one thing we never had to do. We never had girls to are different about. though. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Is either Sheree or I'm gonna go with Karis. Okay. Um, as the Bachelorette, did you have a stylist or were you required to bring all of your dresses and outfits beforehand? The greatest thing about being the Bachelorette and not a contestant is yes, you have a stylist and they do your entire wardrobe. So that is amazing. And he's amazing. And he's awesome. I love Carrie. Coffee. Okay. Brooke Negit, Neget, something like that. Uh, what is the most bizarre assumption you hear about the Bachelor or Bachelorette that is completely inaccurate? That it's fake Ooh. and that we're in this for like publicity or whatever it is or that it's yeah. not real and the feelings aren't real. I think that's the biggest one. Everyone's always like, you totally knew her before the show. You guys totally oh, met yes. before the like, <laughs> what? I didn't even know who it was gonna be and I was locked in a hotel room watching the finale finding out if it was gonna be you or the other girl. Yeah, so it just so, goes no. to show guys, don't believe the rumors that you hear. Yeah. Same with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. MKJ0209. Chad said on a podcast that JoJo wanted him to stay but the producers told her it was time for him to go because he was so hated. Would love to hear JoJo's side. No. That then that's not accurate. Um, I think. Oh come on! You didn't want him to stay. I'll be honest. I didn't get to see all the stuff that was that's happening true. in the house that's with Chad. That's a good point. And so, in the beginning, I knew he was a little like rough around the edges, and there was like these things about him. My interactions with him were like normal, you know. And then I started to hear the stuff. And then, the time that he got sent home, it was the time that. I, I was ready to send him home. K Johnston 14. Are there lots of drunk nights? Seems like everyone just hangs out or hangs around and gets hammered all day. The guys on my season Kinda. were hammered the first night. That's all that was my main memory from night one. Y'all just were not hammered. Me. Not me. If you watch it back, watch it back. I had zero ice in my glass because I kept carrying around the same well, one. Well, good. The for drinks you, they but... give you when you walk in, the drink they give you, I took one sip of it, it was like I see what you guys are doing. Okay, Let, it was straight vodka, nothing else in it, listen, and everyone was getting hammered. I'm all about taking the edge off on that night one because it is a crazy night and you're literally, the nerves are insane. 
but my guys were hammered. Anyway. And I just remember there was this, I don't even know, I think they showed it. I was back in a room doing an interview and like oh, yeah. Vinny and Daniel like and a bunch of busted through the doors and they were hammered. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're not supposed to be back yeah, here. Yeah, he, it was just a chill, really. Yeah. All right, so if you wanted to learn how to fall in love on TV and find you one of these, I uh, hope that helped out. Yeah. But if you got any more questions, you can comment below. We'll just keep this thing rolling. We'll see you guys the next subscribe. time. Subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe.